All this week, we are helping to educate parents and adults, <clears throat> excuse me, about the emotional toll the pandemic has taken on our kids and teens this past year. It's part of our 13 Connects Hope, Help and Healing Our Kids campaign. And we want to warn you, our topic today, this conversation will be about the sensitive subject of teen suicide and prevention. I am joined now by Caroline and Lauren Edgeworth, the Hope Means Nevada Teen Committee co-chairs. Great to see you both. It's nice to see you too. Um, now, either of you just jump in uh, with answers to my questions. For those who don't know, what is Hope Means Nevada? What does the organization do for the community? Hope Means Nevada works to spread awareness around mental health, especially among teens. And we're working to destigmatize these conversations and normalize them. It's pretty important to keep those conversations going. What, what drove you both to be involved with Hope Means Nevada? Uh, well, at the beginning of the pandemic, we noticed a change in mood with all of our friends because this is such like a sudden change for us and we had no idea what we were going into. So I think it was really important for us to get involved in this. And it's something that's not um, normalized amongst teens. So I think it's really important that we start to spread awareness amongst our team members. Not something teens talk about much, uh, I guess. Uh, now, there's been a rise in teen suicide uh, this last year with the pandemic. Uh, I guess that's the main cause for this. Why, why do you think that is? I definitely think it's a main cause. It's mainly caused by the isolation the pandemic has caused us. Some of those former outlets, such as sports, spending time with friends, um, just hanging around other people, that physical contact has been greatly reduced during the pandemic. So I think for those reasons, not being able to go into school has been just a really big factor, especially in the suicide rate, which is so devastating. Uh, if you sense that you're struggling with something like this as a teenager, you're thinking your mental health isn't where it should be, where do you go? How do you get help? The first step I'd say is reaching out to a friend, a counselor, a parent. And I think it's just really important to emphasize the fact that every teen has people who will support them and who love them and care about them. And I know sometimes it's really scary taking that first step, but once you start reaching out to a friend, you can be able to start getting help from different people. I know that friends can help friends with this. What are some of the warning signs of suicidal uh, ideations that teens can spot in their friends? What are the, some signs that parents should look out for? There's definitely not a blanket statement that can just cover these signs, but I'd say for the most part, if you notice a change in their behavior, their mood, their normal daily patterns, their sleep, I think those are great ways to start. But um, additionally, I think just checking in on your friends constantly um, that's our motto, ask five, quote me to data, which just means to check in on five of your friends and move past those typical surface level conversations and just get to know each other and make sure you guys are truly doing okay. And, and parents, what should they look for? Parents, similar, just like similar to um, your friends, if you notice that your child isn't acting the same way, don't have the same motivation, um, not doing as well in school as they usually are, those are usually some of the first signs of someone who's struggling. And, and finally, Governor Sifselak signed Senate Bill 249 into law. It's a law that will excuse absences for mental health days. We just had this earlier in our news. Also gives students access to the National Suicide Prevention Helpline. Is this important? What, is, what does this mean for your cause? This is something that's so important and it's helped normalizing um, suicide and the talk of mental health amongst teenagers. And I think that's a really good step in the right direction because we just want all teens to know that mental health shouldn't be something that's isolated and we should be able to talk about it freely and the national um, suicide hotline it's something that's so simple but something that's so important to have for each teenager yeah i definitely think that it's a great step in the right direction and sometimes teens just need that day off that day to recollect their thoughts if they're stressed about schoolwork mm -hmm. friends anything in their lives. So I think it's a really great step. And I'm so happy that our governor was able to do this along with Senator Don Derrick. Yeah, Caroline and Lauren Edgeworth, the uh, Hope Means Nevada Teen Committee co-chairs. Thank you so much for being here and explaining more about how this can work for all teens. Thank you very much. You can Thank find you. more information on our website, ktnv.com slash healing. 13 Connects, Hope, Help and Healing Our Kids is sponsored by American First Credit Union and Subaru of Las Vegas. Remember, you are not alone. You can help. 
Call 911 for immediate help. The number and website for the Suicide Prevention Lifeline on your screen now. The information for the Trevor Project, which helps LGBTQ youth also on the screen right now.